This video is going to go over how to set up the MDLWP WordPress theme. So once you've installed the theme, you need to, of course, activate it. And once you activate it and you reload the front end, you notice that you have you know, an example post here, you have the header up here, and also the footer section. The, it might have already added some widgets for you, but we'll get to that in a little bit. You see that the have a search feature and you also have this drawer that comes out. Uh, we'll set those up as well. So to get started, let's start adding some posts. So from the WordPress dashboard, we'll just want to go in and create new. Give it some content with some, just for now I'm going to add some filler content. And let's publish that so you can see what it looks like and reload the front end so you'll see that we have this example post it takes the content that you added also whatever image you use in Gravatar it uses for that author it has the author name and the date that it's published you notice that it has this gray area up here with the title and then the content we can change a lot of the stuff up here in this featured image section to start with, you can add a featured image, and I'm just going to grab one out of my media library and update. And you can see here that it automatically gets put up in here. When you click into the post, it's up there in the header as well. You can do other things with this as well. Maybe you don't have a featured image, you don't want to use it. Let's go ahead and remove that again update reload you'll see that it's gray again you can actually change the color of this right here so for example let's go ahead and make it red and you can see that it changes the color there maybe you have an image that's white and you don't want the title to be white you can also change the title color as well down here so let's make that blue when we reload, you'll see that the title is blue. If you click into that post, it of course changes it on the single layout as well. So another thing that you can do down here is set the height. You can see here that the default is 280 pixels. But let's just go ahead and put it at 100 pixels and publish that. And when you reload, you'll see that the height is changed. That's both on the single page and on the home page. So that is edits individual post. You can edit every one if you'd like. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and add an image again and clear both of these and set that back to the default publish that reload Let's see that looks pretty nice another thing that you can do in here is add a more tag so if you're on visual it's this little button right here and if you're on text it's of course the more tag so if you click more and you hit update and you reload you'll see that it automatically adds that read more button so when you click into an individual post You'll see that the comment section is, of course, ready. You can go to newer posts down here. You'll go to the first post and older post. There's another one other thing that you can do on individual posts, and that's add tags. So let's just say tag, oops, tag, post. So I added two tags here. When you update that, and look at the individual post. You notice that the tags are down here and they're buttons like the material design. So that's how you set up individual post. Let's go ahead and create a page, add new, and we'll call it page layout. Give it some filler text again and I'm going to turn off the comments on pages because I don't like that. By the way, in 
WordPress 4.3, those will automatically be turned off, the comments on single pages, which is going to be nice. And notice on here that you can do the same thing on the pages as you can with the post. So I'm going to go ahead and add a nice image here for the sample page. So you can see here that it doesn't show up anywhere. So this will be a good time to transition into the menus. So if you go to appearance menus, this theme actually has several different locations. So let's call it main menu, create that one. And you'll see down here that there's a primary menu, the drawer menu, and the footer menu. So I'm going to go ahead and create each one of those. Create and create another one and call it footer. Create menu. So let's go back to the main menu, select that. And let's add our page layout. And let's add the home page as well. So we want that in the primary menu location. So when we save that and reload, you'll see that the pages are here. So if we go to page layout, you see there's the page that we recently created. We go back to home and there as well. So if you click on this little button here, this is the drawer and you notice that there's nothing in there. So you may want different links than your header because when you resize the page, notice that the header goes away or the main menu goes away and the drawer still works on small devices like mobile and tablet devices. So you may want to keep that in mind that the header goes away. There's also this nice little feature where you click the search bar, the main menu items disappear. Alright, so let's go ahead and add, let's select the drawer menu and let's add the same ones. Actually, let's just put the home in there so you see that they're different. So we want to make sure you select the right theme location, save that, and when you reload, you notice that when you open this, you'll see that there's a link in here. Pretty cool. So the last one we have down here is the footer menu. And let's go and select the footer. And let's do the home and page layout as well. Put it in the footer menu location. And when you reload, you'll see that they're down here. So the last thing that we have here on this theme is the footer widget areas. So if you go into appearance widgets, you'll see that there's four different widget areas. I'm just going to go ahead and delete all the default ones here. And I've created a custom widget for you called MDL dropdown. And if you add that, this is pretty much like if you go to get MDL IO you go into components layout and you go to footer you'll see that they have these links set up and what's cool about them is when you scroll when it goes on a smaller device these turn into drop down menus so I'll show you what I mean here so let's go ahead what you need to do is add LI items and give it a, a link let's say like google.com in the anchor and in the list item and we'll say Google so you can add as many links as you want here and save that notice you don't have to wrap it in the UL I already did that when I built this widget for you so once that's saved and you reload the front end you'll see that there's these links now so like I was saying, when you go to a smaller device, those automatically get changed into a drop down menu. And you click that little arrow there and it, it looks nice on mobile device. So you can continue to use that widget. Text also looks pretty decent. Um, example text. Here's some text just a default text widget 
can see that it's in the second menu location. Some of the other ones right now uh, aren't styled very well. So we need to, hopefully, you're a developer and you can do a little pull request on the GitHub page. Help me out a little bit. But if not, we can style that later on. Other than that, I think that is it. You can test some of these things out. See that it found the example post and everything as well. Uh, you can follow along on the GitHub page. It's GitHub Brag Interactive and this is brand new. So you see that it just pushed this theme up to GitHub. So you can follow along here. I'm sure I'll be making some changes. I have some changes in mind like uh, allowing you to change the colors from the WordPress customizer. But all that is going to be in the near future. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you enjoy the Material Design Lite WordPress theme.